Hey, I want to welcome you to Impact Leadership. I'm Brother Jackie Cannell, and I'm the host of Impact Leadership. And I'm going to tell you, I absolutely enjoy speaking into the life of leaders. Now, when you think about leadership, there's all kinds of information out there. And man, there's books written and uh, there's podcasts that are done. Uh, but I'm so thankful that you decided to join with me with Impact Leadership. Uh, this week, I want to talk to you about something that I believe is so important, especially in the day that we live in today, and that is planning and controlling your future. When you look at the world we live in today, I'm going to tell you, I don't know about you, but I do know about me. I'm a planner. I love to know exactly what I'm doing, what my plan is, and I like, frankly, to kind of have a handle on all that. And when we look at our world today, the world has changed so much that really and truly for a, for a leader that loves uh, to set a plan in motion, uh, it's, it's a real challenge that we're faced with today. But you know, your level of success in life is in direct proportion to how you plan it and how you control it. I believe that when you really plan your leadership, that you're in a proactive state of mind rather than a reactive. And uh, when you're able to live your life and plan your leadership in such a way that you can fi at least find a handle uh, to determine which direction you're going to go, I believe that you're in a better seat of leadership uh, rather than just reacting to everything. And of course, we're living in a world today that we're seeing a lot of leaders are moving into the reaction mode. And I just want to encourage you to stay away from that. So most people spend more time in a year planning their vacation than they do their lives. And if you're a leader, I want to encourage you to plan your leadership life. And I'm going to give you a few things that, that I believe will help you. And one of the things I want to kind of get your mind wrapped around in leadership is developing your blueprint for success. Uh, I, I believe that's so important, you know, and I use that term blueprint a lot when I talk to leaders because I believe that you've got to get that blueprint established and in order, and I'm going to give you about five things that I believe that you need to make sure that, uh, that you implement in developing your blueprint. The first war thing I want to give you is I want you to write down this word for me, and that is the word dream. I want, you know, as a leader, uh, I want you to dream your your life. I want you to be able to sit down and ask yourself the question, what does my future look like? Uh, and I want to give you, listen, I want to give you permission to dream your dream. Uh, when I'm thinking about where I'm sitting today, I'm sitting today in a place that none of us have ever been in before. Uh, we're in the middle of a global pandemic. Uh, we're fighting all kinds of things that's going on. And uh, when I, last week, listen, y'all, last week I said, I'm, I'm enough of that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to dream my dream. And in dreaming my dream, I'm not going to let a pandemic stop me from having my dream or rob me of my leadership dream. Right now, y'all, I'm planning big things coming up. Uh, there are so many big items on my dream list, and uh, I want to make sure that item by item, I encourage you to list what you would do with your life. Now, listen to this. If you had unlimited time, unlimited talent, and unlimited money, I want to get your mind framed in your leadership that you would say, if I had no restriction on my time, if I had no restriction on my talents, and I had no restriction on my money, what would my dream look like? I want you to write that down. I really do. I did it, guys. I did it last. I did it the last couple of weeks. I sat down and said, you know what? I'm not going to get stuck in this rut. I'm going to dream my dream. And man, when I started dreaming my dream, I got enthusiastic. I got excited. I got motivated. Uh, prior to that, I have to be honest with you, I was getting bogged down a little bit. 
and I, I was getting stuck, and I don't like to be stuck as a leader, and I bet you don't either. So today, I want to give you permission to dream your dream. Write down, item by item, what is your dream, and dream the dream. And then I want to make sure that I encourage you to establish some goals. Uh, you know, the a list of the specific results that you want to accomplish in, in the next 12 months in your life. You know, when you think about the next 12 months, what is it that you want to accomplish? Sit down and write your goals out. Go ahead and establish that. Give order. I like to say it like this, y'all, and, and, and I think it's powerful. I want to give order to my madness. You know, when my mind starts thinking about dreaming, my mind goes into a gear. I, I get all excited. Man, I dream some dreams and and then I have to give some order to my madness. And what I do is I sit down and set down some goals uh, that I want to accomplish. And you need to do that. And then I want you to have values in your dreams and in your goals. A prioritized list of what you believe is most important. Uh, that's what you're going to sit down and value. And I hope you'll do that. Establish your values. Go ahead and get your values in order. What is most important in dreaming your dream? And then uh, fourthly, establish your action plan. How are you going to execute it? What's your incremental established action plans? A list of the objectives or the steps that must be completed for you to be successful. And then finally, establish what I call your daily activities those little steps that you take in order to accomplish your dream and your goals and look at your daily activities i like to i like to get up every day and i like to look at my daily to-do list so that i can evaluate is this going to propel me toward my objective so as a leader i want to encourage you that you are to live your life and and establish your, what I call your promotional success. Look at it, dream it, set your goals, establish your values, set your action plan, and, and do your daily activity that's going to help you win in that accomplishment. So a lot of things to talk about there, but I want to challenge you because I think you're a leader and I want you to know that I believe in you. So you may be like me. You're going, man, enough is enough of all this stuck in the rut stuff. I'm about to dream my dream. And guys, I'm doing exactly that. I'm dreaming big dreams. And I hope you'll join me with, with, with doing that. Hey, I want to remind you that I want to encourage you to look forward to the next few weeks of establishing your order and what that's all about. And I want to make sure that I this phone's ringing off the hook, guys. I, I'm so excited that you are going to be part of this is real life, y'all. Leaders have these kind of things happen. So, guys, I look forward to the next JC Impact uh, Leadership uh, uh, summit that we're going to do. And, and these little podcasts are valuable for us. So guys, to I want to encourage you to be the leader, be the best you can be, because I believe in you. I'll see you next time. God bless you.